Hi guys. This is user one and hi Audrey. Okay, let's go go ahead and take our car and drive somewhere and just talk, you know? Just talk. What I talk about anyway. We are heading actually Honks at Audrey. I need your uh, help. I gotta collect my belongings from my place and bring them to here. Okay, let's go. Alright, so that's what we're gonna do. After we shut down a bunch of cops and a helicopter, which uh, was pretty substantial for me. Uh, Amy needs a new place, and she got one. She got a friend to buy her a place, Natasha Valentine. That was really kind of you. She got her an apartment, which is very nice, nice pristine apartment. And so we're gonna move because we need to change identity. We're gonna change our likeness, you know. That's what I mean. We're gonna change how we behave. Uh, we're gonna change most of that stuff. Uh, this is how we go into hiding, you know? I could just, you know, use an out of character mask, but uh, fuck that. I wanna be in character. I don't like that. Uh, Amy would not like that. Uh, I don't wanna... See, the problem is, whenever I talk in first person, people think I'm referring to myself as my person. No, what I'm meaning is my character's thoughts. I mean my character's thoughts because if I talk in third person all the time, that sounds weird. So Amy is right now paranoid. You know, because she's shut down a bunch of cops and she wants to be sure that uh, that no one, you know, arrests her doing this. What the fuck just happened? Uh, thank you. <laughs> don't, don't text and drive kids, don't text and drive, alright. Oh my god, I'm actually down to 50 uh, fuel. I should type fuel to see how many gallons that is. 8 gallons. Cool. That's actually kind of cool. So this ca car can have like 16 gallons or something. Anyway, let's go. We are going to several. We are going to grab all our old shit and we're going to move to a new house. That's what we're going to do. I heard so many people complain about me flushing a sniper rifle down the toilet. It's ridiculous. I'm making this episode specifically for those people and I understand. I understand that a 50 cal sniper rifle will not make it down the toilet. The reason I roleplayed it that way because the fact is uh, I, I wasn't concerned too much about it. I just wanted to make an epic video. A bunch of people just assume that everything they see me record is all roleplay. That I don't roleplay outside my videos. Which is just absurd. It, it is just absurd. If I didn't roleplay outside my videos, I wouldn't get a sniper rifle. You get things in the roleplay server by roleplaying. You don't... If you stop thinking about assets, suddenly all these assets show up. Suddenly you get an, an opportunity to get a sniper rifle and you're like... That one... I, I was like, that would make a cool video. And I decided to do a house robbery because that's what people voted uh, for on my tr Twitter poll, so I was like, yeah, sure, why the fuck not, that would be cool. And I was gonna use the AK, that failed, so we tried to use a sniper rifle, and that was extremely successful and was really fine, I was like, mmm. Because Amy, Amy has always had a tough relationship with the police, and... Hold on, I'm gonna leave the... Uh, uh, wait! I keep, I, keep, I, I keep forgetting that I need to, I don't need to leave the engine open now. I remember back in the day you had to have your engine uh, on to be able to open the trunk, but now I can just roleplay it. It's so nice. I could just unlock the car and it will be nice. Yes. Okay. Okay. Alright. Get out of me. So you need me for what? You. I need you to help me uh with my stuff 
so we had a lot of stuff in here we can still use this but i have never gotten to use this i was gonna use this like a like a portal place and i only see purpose on this on my new character which is the journalist uh i i was gonna use this for one scene in the movie right the right let's go get the bags opens the files various uh, drawings and sketches about <laughs> centered around uh, banks in LS okay okay this is what I'm taking Uh, you take uh, the sniper rifle that I left in the toilet. You may still be dissatisfied because the reason why I want to do this is because how do I take it? I pay it. Uh, there would be a disassembled sniper rifle in the bowl. Can you look around for a bag or something? <laughs> Opens a microwave. Okay, so I the reason why I did this is because I know people would be dissatisfied with a sniper rifle being flushed down the toilet. I didn't think when I did it. What what was in my mind was I just shot down a helicopter. That's that was all that bothered me. That's why I did it. That's why I just flushed it down the toilet and I was like, okay, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I'm gone. I'm gone. I guess it was like a metaphor, but it won't roleplay properly. Okay, so... A lot of you are... were dissatisfied because you all argued that you can't flush a 50 cal down the toilet. The truth is... I... know that. I wasn't flushing it down the toilet. I just put the lid on and I flushed. I didn't say it w would flush down the toilet. What happened was I was hiding it in the toilet bowl. Okay? <laughs> and now I'm taking it out a couple of weeks after the incident to make sure that the heat has lowered down. That is the law now. This is my closure to you. This is my servitor because I understand Okay, now, now take the microwave and put it in the trunk. Carries the papers with her. Hold on, mate. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I saw someone outside. Trunk. There we go. Put it in. So that was the plan. <laughs> I like how everyone took it to the extreme. And that wasn't the plan originally, but now it's the plan. What I did back then was kind of stupid, but it worked out in the end. So can we stop with the, <laughs> with the meme of me flushing a fucking sniper rifle down the toilet? I know it was stupid, I but I was too ecstatic about the fact that I shot down the police helicopter. It matters to me. This person made no sense. Can you please not talk about that of character stuff? Okay. Right. Shut the trunk. Alright. I think we're good. Now to dump it. Because this is like the essential evidence. This is the link. This is the rifle that was used to kill dozens of people. So, we want to be very careful with this. Now, where would be a really nice secluded place to dump this thing? For fuck's sake, what keeps happening? Did she just disconnect? Okay. Okay, Audrey timed out, unfortunately, so we're just gonna have to do it all by ourselves. Somehow. Uh, Alright, we need to find a really nice place that does not have any cameras watching it. Again, I apologize about me trying to flush a sniper rifle, but 
I in the end I didn't break any rules because I didn't say that it would flush. So there we go. I think we can all have a closure. And I think I have finally found a solution to everyone's problem that I didn't roleplay properly. <laughs> now everything should be settled. And I like to thank you all for calling me out on it. I really do. I really like you to call me out on whenever I don't roleplay things. But what I really need from you is examples. I've, re I've had some comments, they made wild accusations, they didn't provide examples. That doesn't help me, okay? Okay, so unfortunately OJ could not join us for this, um, uh, well, disposal because she unfortunately could not enter a vehicle without crashing every time. So I'll have to do it myself. And what's a better place to do it than, uh, I don't know, the ocean? The ocean would be a really nice place to do it. Somewhere really, really far away, you know? I just want to take no chances with this. Or just kind of bury it in the forest somewhere. Because I, this is, this could, this could really fuck up Amy's uh, life, you know? This is like proof of her killing. It's a lead because if she has a sniper rifle, it's a lead that she killed these people. And now she has this evidence in the back of her trunk and she's driving to the middle of nowhere to dispose of it. So that Amy can finally be at peace with her paranoia. And I can be at peace with my comment section. Hopefully. Now let's go ahead and just dispose of it right here. This looks like a nice, nice, quiet place. Okay, let's go. Okay. Takes out the microwave with this assembled sniper rifle parts. It's, uh, sniper rifle inside it, basically. There we go. We're carrying it. And we're gonna drop it off. Oh, I picked the best ledge. Okay. Tosses the microwave down the hill. Should be good enough. There we go. Exhales a sigh of relief. <laughs> you and me both, Amy. You and me both. <sighs> Finally, this is dealt with. The whole week I've been bombarded with comments. Oh shit, you forgot to... You fucking to flushed it down the toilet. I didn't flush it down the toilet all along. I'm really happy that it's over with. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry that this video was a bit cliche and pandering to my haters, I would say. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't really. I did fuck up. I did fuck up. I did say, oh shit, I flushed something down my toilet, which is kind of shitty. But nevertheless, some of the accusations made against me were still, I feel, a bit too ridiculous. Philosopher made a really long comment. Um, some of it, well, I, I made a reply to it, but I decided to not upload that because that was just me ranting for 40 minutes, basically. And instead, of, I decided to make something somewhat interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will promise that next episode is going to be much better than this. And stay awesome.